Hey, this is Sal Sines with Keller Williams Pacific Estates. Adam Martinez with JMJ Financial. And Scott Simmons with Keller Williams. Hey, so we are creating a video here today about programs called CalHAPA DPA. DPA means Down Payment Assistance Programs. There's a lot of acronyms in this business. If you have any questions about what this means, ask us, but we are gonna be talking about um, this CalHAPA for a DPA program. And the reason why we're talking about it is a lot of people in the past when I first got my license in 2004, these programs, you could not make enough money in order to take advantage of them. It was just ridiculous. So no one was able to do it. But now they have figured out that in order for someone to buy a home, you gotta make a certain income. So we're gonna be talking about this because Adam here is the pro and the expert on this. He is my go-to guy whenever I have questions about anything dealing with grants, down payment assistance programs, first time home buyer programs, you know, uh, where to get a drink, whatever. You know, it's like I go to him for all these questions because he's right there and he's right here in our office. One thing about this business, it's all about team building. I mean, working as a team. It's so important that when you're working with an agent that they have a team of people they work with that um, they know get the job done. And that's what this is about. So. We're gonna to talk to Adam. He's gonna tell us about the Cal Haffer programs. You're gonna love it. Tell us about it. Thanks, Al. Well, like you had mentioned, there's been a lot of changes with down payment assistance. There's a lot of programs that are out there to help people. But one of the biggest uh, is Cal Haffer. Mm -hmm. And Cal Haffer allows you, first time home buyers that is, to come in with essentially three and a half towards the down payment assistance. Now, if it's FHA, for those of you that know FHA, FHA allows you to come in three and a half. So it basically cancels out the down payment assistance there for you. They've also got closing cost assistance, which you can leverage 2% or 3%. So those of you that are following along, you're talking about a total assistance of about six and a half percent at the end Ooh. of the day, which is fantastic. Um, some of the income requirements that Sal mentioned is obviously constant adjustments every single year for those. They're county specific, so if you live in LA County, the income or household income is 180,000. Plenty. For Orange County, it's 235,000. Plenty. Plenty. A lot of money in there. Some of the FICO or credit requirements, you can go as low as 640, which is fantastic. And again, a lot of these assistance programs are built to help first-time home buyers get into a property at the end of the day. Where's the money coming from? Uh, CalHAP is a government-sponsored state program out there. So with the affordability challenges that we're having out there, CalHAP is kind of that liaison that is helping a lot of first-time home buyers from an affordability standpoint right. get into a property here. So a question with that, um, FHA, are they able, they can do multiple units with that? You can go, it's a single unit, yeah. So you can go up single unit on there, and you don't have to go FHA. You can go conventional, you can leverage the benefits. That's only single family, it cannot be a duplex. Correct. Okay, it's good to know, because a reg, I mean, so he can do a regular FHA loan. Regular yeah. FHA can go up to four units, just FYI. So, right? Correct. Right. So, what's cool about that is if um, you're looking for investment property, 70, about 70% 70 of the rents can help you qualify so that yeah. you would qualify for more money. Yeah. Just a side note. Just Yeah, and, and one thing on that is the, the Cal Hafa on there, it's specifically for primary residents. Primary residents. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. The investment part of it is, is out the door there. Well, and the reason why we're doing this video, one, we're doing it for June. Hi, June. But um, we do have a problem. June, I'm wearing socks. So FYI, I had to show you. So we do this for all of our clients. If, if, if you are out there getting this video and you need a customized video for a particular product or let's say you have a question about something, ask us. We'll do a video, you can see our faces, you can see we're real people, and we can get you the answers. But one reason why we're talking about this is right now the market. Okay, the market, you know, don't, if you want true information about the market, come to agents, ask us because what you are seeing on TV, as well as what you might be reading, is not the reality. And by the time you've read that the market has picked up, it's too late. You have missed your opportunity. No, there's no question. There, there's always, it's always months behind. And let's face it, the media is always about doom and gloom, but we are seeing right now, properties are still sometimes getting multiple offers. Properties are still selling close to list, generally, if they're priced well. But what we're not seeing is 30 offers on the same property. So what does that mean? Right now is the time to buy because what's happening is you're not competing with a million other people 
for the same property where they're writing. I mean, I'm going to tell you, last year was a bloodbath. I mean, properties were going, you know, I'm not going to say about what was going on in LA because was, I'd scare the hell out of you, but properties were going over list. Um, no contingencies, no appraisal contingencies. Sellers were looking for all cash, or a lot of cash. That's not the situation now. So what that means is by you writing or at least starting the process, do, start, get, do your due diligence, start asking questions. It doesn't take us any energy to do searches for property. It doesn't take Adam, I mean, to get you start the process to help, help you understand the process. It doesn't take us much time or hard work. We're here to help and serve you because I can guarantee you, once you buy a property and you do your taxes after that first year, you're gonna say, oh my God, I wish I would have done this five years ago. Again, I've been licensed for 19 years and I can tell you almost every single client I've ever sold a home to have all said that. Even the ones who bought during the crazy markets in the past. They've already got equity. They're already leveraging their equity. They're already buying investment properties. They're already helping their kids buy homes. You know, they're already referring our clients to us to sell them homes. So it makes a lot of sense because when you're renting, what are you doing? Throwing away, throwing away money. You're paying throwing somebody else's mortgage. You're making yeah. somebody else rich. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're here in a percent. So, what else were we talking about? Take. We did. This is take two. Scotty, <laughs> Scotty messed up on our. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> it's always fun around here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, was there anything else you want to add about that? So, what else were you talking about? You talked about loan limits. You talked about. Oh, so bottom line is, we did say that yeah, they eventually. So, the money that you're you're getting, basically not having to come up with, you pay for when your property sells. Yep. Right. Yeah. So it's just again, it makes a lot of sense and. Um, you know, if you're not, you need to really look at it. If you're paying a lot for rent, I'm telling you, it makes so much sense to buy. Um, the average appreciations we're seeing are, you know, four to eight percent, which is still more than you, you know, you get at the bank. You know, you have quality of life, you have the ability to make changes to the property. And also, I think it's also peace of mind. I mean, um, because when you rent, you never know when that seller is gonna say, hey, I'm gonna sell it. Uh, we hear that all the time. So, you know, peace of mind. So, oh, I know what I was to say. So we, 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 we bring peace to the process. Right. So that's, that's, our pro that's our goal is just to bring, you know, peace and, and, and um, what's the other word? I was thinking of word. Guidance. Guidance. <laughs> peace and guidance to the process. Yeah. So um, if you have any questions, Sal signs 562-714-8398. And then the numbers will be on the video. Adam Martinez, 714-253-6116. And Scott Simmons, 909-816-1718. Scott Simmons. <laughs> so, oh, one last thing. Adam does a lot of other programs. This is about first-time home buyer programs. You know, they're grant programs for people who are not first-time home buyers. He does a conventional, you do. Oh, oh, actually, they're talking about rolling out a doctor program. Right? Yeah. What are the programs that he might want to have? Yeah, I mean, you've got teacher programs, doctor teach, programs. Teacher, pro teacher programs. programs? Absolutely. First responder program. Oh, is, that, is, that, is that a great public mortgage? Yeah. That, uh, I forget the name okay. of that, but there's options. Though. Okay, first responders, teachers. I've got a lot of teachers out there. Call me. Call Adam. Call Scott. All of us. We're here for you. Again, have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.